Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, My Jewelry Addiction. My name is Tanya, and I'm addicted to jewelry. Um, I just reached into the tote, which is sitting right over here on the chair now. It's not very deep anymore. It's, it's only about that deep now, the big tote. Um, and I just grabbed some things and dumped them in here and thought it would be easier to look at these. Oh yeah, look. Birds on a wire. Um, yeah, so I, I just thought I'd go through this with you. Um, hello if you're new and welcome. And for those of you who have been around for a while, like Kimberly, um, thank you and welcome back. Uh, yeah, and if you haven't yet, consider oh and Dana oh my gosh I know where that one's going um yeah so and Karen hi and Diane oh my gosh where did these come from Danielle hello Danielle uh these were all at the bottom of this thing so um yeah this is sockeye marble Mind for Blue Diamond Jewelers, Fair Trade Gems, Mind in Alaska. Yeah, it's just a little cabochon. Oh God, my nail. Yeah, that looks just lovely, right? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> there was a whole bunch of these that we were finding yesterday. Um, lots of them, and these are amazing. So I'm so excited about these. And I'm glad that these are in here because I love crafting and shoot, I could do some stuff with that. Well, like my little cousins when I did their, um, their heart trees, if you guys didn't see it, I put a little post out. Um, oh, this is cool. <gasps> I love it. It's a good magnet. That's a pretty strong magnet, actually. And it says believe. I love that. That's an awesome magnet. And I just stick it right here on top of my, um, I have a whole bunch of magnets right here attached to this side. So that way I can just reach up and grab it. Oh, I dropped an angel though, isn't she? Sweet. All right, let's put her back up here. What else do we have? Well, we have a little mini clip that's missing something there. Uh, I, you know, I don't have a lot of hope uh, for treasure in here. I mean, I found some treasure, but those are cute. And, you know, I just don't know if there's going to be pears and all that stuff, but there's some really cute enameled earrings. So I'm gonna put like all the single earrings, all the single ladies, all the single ladies. Let me get a little tray right here. And put these in here, all the single earrings out of here. Cute. The sun's gonna ruin it in a minute. Uh, yeah, whatever that is. I can't, I can't read it or anything because I have the wrong glasses on. It's a little charm. Coming. Cute little vintage necklace in oranges and yellows. Pretty. It is missing the shepherd's hook clasp, so... Oh gosh, and then look. I just gotta, I just crammed the whole pile. I just shoved it all to this side of the desk because it was in my way right here. I need to clean. This one looks like uh, it could be. I see that. Okay, that one's not the strongest one I have. That's certainly not the strongest one I have. I know I have a really good strong one. 
darn it, where's that one from yesterday? Anyways, yeah, I don't think. It already had some pull on there. Um, a keychain with some initials on it. Really nice. Well, that's beautiful. And it was a brooch, and it's not any longer because it only has that left. Beautiful, though. Great for crafting. Oh, there's my little hummingbird. All right, so I need to make a crafter's paw right here. That one actually uh, looks good and feels good. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, that's neat. That's like a little fob. And it has um, initials and it very much looks like silver or what does it have on there oh whatever that is let's see if we can focus it huh I, I don't know what that is but that's really cute it's like a pendant um it's it's like a fob is what it is Ew, what's that it looks like a sterling earring, perhaps. No, actually, maybe that's gold tone. Maybe the lighting really sucks in here today. Let me put that in my treasure pile. Oh, there's another one of these. This one appears to be different than the other. I love all the little smalls, though. That's a cute earring. And another cute earring. I think I've seen one of these already. So to the single earring pile they go. And then I'll see what I can pair up. Cute. Love the smalls. Ah, <gasps> ooh. This is a very early little, little tiny brooch done in brass with a C clasp there. Oh, my poor nails. I'm so sorry, everyone. Is that focusing? Um, I can't tell. I don't have my loop. Gosh darn me. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. Um. So I wanted to just peek at this. <gasps> it's so cute. It's a little cherub baby with wings. It's all hand done, hand painted. There's two doves kissing each other. And the cherub baby is sitting on a bed of flowers and stuff. And she has little tiny wings. Hope you can see that. Not focus on my fingernail. Oh my gosh. That's all I saw. Whoops. I see the two little doves right here. So cute. That's adorable. Little tiny thing done in brass. That's a treasure. That's a treasure. Yay. Cute little heart. Another earring. All these little small bits, little earrings. Some of them I don't think are worth saving or trying to pair up, but some of them are cute and wearable, sellable, whatever. I doubt if I'd try to sell individual pairs like that, but um, you know, they gotta be something special. Uh, we found a whole bunch of these little Lucite ones with the swirly or whatever material that is. It's like a Lucite. Ooh, so there's a pair of these because I've already found the other right there. Bingo. I like it. Um, just a silver tone chain. What's that? Is that the same one? It is the same one. There's my loop. Did I just set my loop down inside of here? Oh my gosh, I almost lost it again. What's this? Kathy! Oh, Kathy! You get one. That's awesome. We got a V. Lori. Aw, Lori. You get this one. It was made by Caleb. 
five of oh four. Oh, that's so cute, Lori. And then we've got our garbage pile. I don't even know where to put the Ugh. fun crafting stuff and ickies like that's just cord. I don't know. Here's what I would do with that. Pop. Oh. Princess. She has to every time. So that part is gone to the wayside. I'm going to keep those for crafting. Uh, huh? I sure am. Oh, that one's kind of cute. It's a flower. Oh, it's actually very pretty. Oh, it's missing a stone there. Well, I might be able to find that stone in here. I'm going to put that one to the side just in case I find the other one. And then I happen to find the, um, the stone. Then I can fix that real quick. There's another one of those little loose sight. That one's cute and colorful, a little hoop. Oh, yay! I found the other one of these um, a couple of days ago. So that's a beautiful pair of cloisonne earrings. Very, very nice. Oh, that's cute to craft with, a little owl. That's sweet. So it goes into my crafting pile. Um, I do collect keychains. Well, it's not so much that I collect them. I just find a lot of them. And a lot of them, uh, the older ones, if you haven't seen the Auction Professor Don, he has a channel, the Auction Professor. He's pretty amazing, and he talks about the um, collectability of different things, including keychains and, you know, the buttons that I collect and even costume jewelry. He talks about a, a lot of stuff. This is cute. That's a cute little brooch. Um, but yeah, one of the things I've heard, I mean, these newer ones that you're going to buy in Hawaii, uh, you can buy them in a bundle of 12. That way, when you come back, you have one for all of your friends, a little, you know, yeah, they're cheap. They don't, these don't have any collectability at all. Ooh, that's sterling. That's got some nice signatures back there. Probably a Tosco piece. Um, yeah, but there are some keychains that are worth hundreds. Um, yeah, this is uh, T, what is that? TH or TM? TN dash IO or IC, whatever, Mexico 925, yada, yada. Um, very pretty inlaid sterling. All right, that goes into the treasures. Cute earrings. I even like that one. Oh, there's two. Those I'd probably convert into clip-ons for Cynthia because Cynthia would rock those. Right now her hair is, um, well, anyway, so that's her style. Her hair is like, what is it? I just showed this. That goes over there with the keychain. Um, her hair is yellow and orange and red. It looks like fire. It's really cool. Flames. Uh, the way it's done. It's pretty cool. That's a nice little fold over, like, slide bracelet. These slide on these, on the wires there. Just costume jewelry, and they look like they have little bits of, like, dyed mother of pearl or something like that in there. Oh, one missing there. To the crafter's watch she goes. That's cute. That's a little brooch. Little cheapy ring. Oh, what is that? That's so pretty. Looks like just costume, but it's very, very um, art deco in appearance. What is that down there? Sounds like stone, probably a hull light or something. But that part of the earring is gorgeous. Love it. Get some of this 
icky, like, icky yucks to the side. Um, another one of those cute little loose sides. All right, here's the little buttons that I collect, and that's a sweet one. Just, you know, the little buttons. I have hundreds and hundreds of these. And one day I will... Oh, this was a... Um, it was like a bracelet, but this is also like... I guess it was a watch or something. It has a face or something. No, that's just some cheap metal ring. Well, that's broken, so that goes to the craps. The craps pile. Cute bead. Put that in a bead pile. Bead lot. That's a really pretty earring. This actually looks like it could be silver. Um, because it's it's just designed like that. I don't know. I'll check it. I'll put it into the uh, let's pair it up first pile and move forward from there. But if I find two, I might test it. But otherwise, I don't know. Well, what is it? I think it's more of a fur clip. Didn't know. It's one of those things. Oh, look, gut. He's cute. <laughs> Here's a fine example of like um, a faux turquoise. <laughs> it's done with like some resiny stuff, it's a pendant. You don't know what pile that goes to. I guess to the crafting lot she goes. That one's not worthy of finding a mate. Ooh, that looks like a little silver cross. Yeah, and it's marked in there. Oh, but it doesn't say 925. It says something else. Right there. Right there. Yeah, whatever that says. Um, it's cute nonetheless. Oh, and another cutie patootie loose light with the neat little swirly doos in it. A little plastic bit. Ooh, what is it? What's happening here? What have they done? Um, these look like little you know, glass charms or, you know, your wine glass charms. I mean, they could be single earrings, but I think they're more like the glass wine charms. And then someone just put it on this uh, thing here that has no opening, closure, nothing. So someone just put that together. Okay. <laughs> for whatever reason. These are the buttons that I collect. Um, these are the little pins, not buttons. These are the pins that I collect. And these I have thousands of. Um, and again, Dawn, Auction Professor, boom. Each one of these, might you might fetch 12, 11, you know, 10. Some of them can be worth hundreds. So it's just depending on what what it is, you know, how old it is, all you have to take into all the factors and then find out from there. But, um, I've been collecting these from day one. I've never sold any. Um, and I've got some pretty amazing ones. So I'm going to continue to collect those. Those I can, um, do something with later on in life. <laughs> right now I got some jewelry that I need to deal with. Just looking for treasure, I guess. Ooh, what do I see? That's pretty. I like that hoop. That's really nice. Like, I would wear that. I would wear that. I like it. It's got a good look to it. What did I just see? This. What is it? Oh, it's amazing. It's fish bones. 
Remember that band, Fishbone? I saw them in LA once. It was a charity. Uh, I think it was an AIDS charity in the late 80s. And one of my friends, he's a he's a music producer now, but he's an amazing drummer. Um, we just happened to be in LA and he just happened to know everyone and got got like all six of us free passes. Oh my gosh, it was so much fun. We had a blast that night. We also got into some trouble on the way back. The guy I was dating at the time, Fred, he was a twin who has since passed away. Um, he died in the mid nineties. Um, he was hit by a car and died, but he and I were driving back. <laughs> he must've been tired or something. And I don't know. We ended up getting pulled over. He got arrested because he didn't have his ID. He had his brother's ID. It was this whole thing. His brother was there too. Um, but he drove with someone else. Um, I can't quite remember. It was so long ago. All I know is that they arrested him because he lied about who he was. And then he came clean and said, he, I'm really not Rick. I'm really Fred. And they didn't believe his story. Then they came and backed it up with me. But he didn't tell me he was going to lie. So he said, if they ask you, tell them I'm Rick because I have Rick's ID. So when they came to me and asked me after he already said he lied about it, I said, oh yeah, his name's Rick. <laughs> his name wasn't Rick. That was his brother who was in a different vehicle and they were probably already home safe. Uh, this is in Bakersfield on the way back from LA and uh, they arrest him. So they take me to Denny's and leave me at Denny's. And then I had to call someone who was already back home, my friend Kibu. Um, and I think she had to drive all the way back from Fresno to Bakersfield to pick me up. I was there for hours at that um, Denny's. Uh, then the power went out while I was there. Oh, God, it was this whole hot mess. That's sterling silver. That's really cute. Um, yeah, funny. Gosh, the things we did when we were young. Yeah, my boyfriend. Well, he was he was my boyfriend at the time, but low-key, but yeah, we were a thing. I was in love with him. <sighs> and then, yeah, and then he got a new girlfriend and kicked me to the curb. I was nothing. I was a piece of trash. But he did come and apologize after, and it was shortly after that. I don't know, maybe a year after that. He had passed away, but um, I got a pair. Yay. <laughs> I wrote a rap song, too. And while I was sitting in that Denny's, I remember that I was, uh, I didn't know what to do with myself. So I just grabbed the napkin. I had a pen and I started writing stuff. Um, yeah, and it was like this rap song. <laughs> I kind of remember part of the lyrics, but I'm not going to go there with y'all. It was about our adventure that weekend. And, um, yeah. <laughs> There's some wood earrings. All right, let's change the subject. Some wood earrings. I don't know if anyone's going to be into that. A whole bunch of these little hooplas. Always want to check these. I've oh yay, there's two of these. I found this one a couple of days ago and I thought it was really cute. Really cute, sweet. Um, but yeah, you always want to check these. I found quite a few of these that have turned out to be gold and silver, so um, you always want to look at those a little closer. These all look not good, so I guess I should say that one does not look good at all. I need my other glasses because I'm really, oh yay, there's a pair of these. I'm really having a hard time with this lighting. Those are fun. 
their post earrings. I think that's a navy blue and white. Really groovy. I like this. Those are cute. Those are kind of cute too. Yellow. Yellow. Yellow fella. They call me mellow yellow. Ooh, those are adorable. Cynthia would love those if we could convert those to clip-ons. I just pop that off and glue the clip-on back there and she does that often, but she would really like those. So I'm going to put those to the side for Cynthia because she's like groovy like that. She likes that kind of stuff. Fun. Oh, these are also kind of fun. Oh, it was missing the, um, the little white bit in there. Otherwise, that'd be really kind of cute. And I'm sure it's in here somewhere. I remember Sally the other day put on a whole bunch of white jewelry. Um, Sally from Vintage Discoveries. And it was so cute. Things you would unexpectedly, not necessarily, maybe not even like, but you put it on, try it on, put it on. And oh my gosh, it's like a whole new game changer, you know? It's like, wow, that's super, super cute. And... Yeah, I think I want it. This is one of those glow stick things. I'm sure it's already been crushed, so. And it goes to the garbage. Um, dangly bits. Yeah, so cute. What's that? Is that silver? No. Ew. And there's like a weird little tassel. It's not even a sassy tassel. No, it's not sassy at all. Look at it. And it's very boring and bland. That's a, a sad tassel. <laughs> that had nothing to it, tassel. Ooh, cute bead. I love these. And I'm looking for these right now, these little Asian ones, because I got fun stuff coming up. One day when I get to it, I will. I'm such a procrastinator. That I am. I am, I am, Sam, I am. That's cute. Um... It's gross, though, because of the fabric portion of it, and it's kind of gross and grungy, so I wouldn't want to put that next to my ear, and I don't think you would either, but that's just me. This is very pretty. That's glass or stone. Kind of looks like a venturing or jade or something. I don't know. I have to take a deeper look to that deeper look to it. I remember seeing one of these yesterday and I just think that's a really cute earring. So here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. Here comes the sun. And I say, it's all right. Yes, it is. It's all right. Got some earring backs. Um, I picked this up earlier. It's just like a nice cabochon. Um, ah! Jade or something. No bright. And I did look at this and I just threw it right back down. What? Well, it's actually a tie tack. Uh, like a bolt tie tack. It's for your manly men. Those who like bolts. Uh, that's a cute little anklet. jingles to catch the light. Uh, these are cute, but they're pretty worn, so to the ick pal they go. The ick pal. That one's pretty. It's got a nice crystal in there. I'll take it. This one is actually very cute. Um, a very cute earring. I'll keep that one. Oh, uh, what is it? You know, I rarely ever find uh, these that are precious metals. What does this one say? This one is Hecock USA. Uh, it's a tie bar. Tie thing. Yeah. La, la, la. Well, that's just got lots of nice little jangly, dangly bits, and so does that one, so 
They're earrings. I'll throw them over here to the earring pile. Those are cool glass beads. About to break, but uh, they're great little glass beads. So, to a bead pile they go. I thought I had one. No, I guess not. I thought I had started a bead pile. There's a little angel. These are little pins. Uh, Crystal Society. Oh, I've seen something before Crystal Society. I think it's Crystal Cruise Lines, I want to say. I could be wrong, but I remember investigating that before. Um, and I think it's Crystal Cruise Lines, I think. And now I'm questioning myself. Um, what is it? Is it a, it's a clip? It's a very small clip. And uh, the spikes are pretty, um, they're pretty spiky. So I don't know what kind of clip this is. Is it a dress clip? I think that would hurt a dress. So I'm not sure. Um, and it, it's, it looks too big at the back to be a shoe clip. Um, it's a little too long that way. I could be wrong. I don't know. Somebody knows. Somebody will tell me what that is. But I will keep her. That's what I'll do. Uh, to the crafting pile. She goes. It's broken. Earring. What else is in here? Good morning. Hi, good morning. I need some coffee. that day that day I got stuck there at that Denny's yeah it was a really like stormy day or something like that cute little Scotty dog and uh, yeah the electricity went out it was like St. Patrick's Day or Easter there was something significant about it my mom was so mad because she was watching my daughter Oh, and here's um, dye. This is those. This also is for those cruise ships. Uh, you go and you get one of those little dye charm bracelets, and you buy the charms for it in the different ports. Oh, look, two of them. How about it? Oh my gosh, are you kidding me right now? Where to go? Where to go? Oh yay! Okay. Awesome. That's a beautiful pair. Very nice. Sterling silver and onyx, I'm sure. Ooh, see now this one right here. This one's going to have a whole bunch of good collectability. 